the acid strength is the tendency of an acid to donate uh, a proton for example if we have a uh, general acid ha so its tendency uh, to donate this proton or in other words how easily it donates this proton will decide how strong this acid will be so in other words uh, uh, the more readily a compound donates a proton the stronger acid it will be the acidity of any compound is measured by uh, an equilibrium constant for example the acid dissociation of acetic acid is given in this equation and as we can see it's a reversible reaction so hence there will be some kind of equilibrium in general uh, equilibrium constant in any reversible reaction can be written by this equation so k eq so k eq is equilibrium constant is equal to the concentration of products divided by the concentration of starting material or reactants starting material is reactants so it's a general equation to calculate equilibrium constant in any reversible reaction so in this uh, example our product will be acetate ion and hydronium ion so both of these will be products so they will go here and our starting material will be acetic acid and water one thing i should mention here or we should know is that water in this case is a solvent and solvent concentration never changes uh, please remember this concept so solvent concentration is always a constant using that expression of equilibrium constant we can write equilibrium expression for uh, the dissociation of any uncharged acid ha upon dissociation the acid in water uh, produces an anion a negative and hydronium ion this can be expressed in this as shown in this equation so, so in this equation we can see that anion a negative and uh, the hydronium ions are products and HA and water are reactants so therefore we can write the expression for equilibrium constant using the expression described in previous slide so equilibrium constant is equals to concentration of products divided by concentration of reactants so our product is and the reactants are the acid ha multiplied by concentration of water as i mentioned earlier that water concentration is uh, constant in a solution the reason is water is a solvent so if we have one liter of any solution in one liter of that solution we will have one liter of water and one liter of water will weigh one thousand grams so in other words in a liter of a solution we will have 1000 grams of water in one liter so if we calculate constant molarity of water using this expression 1000 grams per liter of water you will see that water concentration comes out to be 55.5 moles per liter and it will be uh, the same number regardless of what aqueous solution uh, are we talking uh, uh, talking about so if we multiply the equilibrium constant with the concentration of water we will get uh, 
So equation number one will be reduced to this formula. And the product of K equilibrium times the concentration of water, remember concentration of water is 55.5. So both of these are constants. Both these values are constant. So this is equal to a new constant. So this is known as acid dissociation constant and it is denoted by Ka. So Ka is equals to A9 of acid multiplied by hydronium ion concentration divided by the acid concentration. Remember, Ka is known as acid dissociation constant. Now, Ka can be used to measure the strength of an acid. A large value of Ka uh, would mean that acid is, uh, or the concentration of product is larger. It, in other words, acid dissociates quite easily or uh, we can say that in that case proton is donated readily so hence acid will be stronger however the ka value for most of acids including including organic acids are numbers with negative exponents so therefore it's not very practical to use this value so instead we use a another uh, uh, expression and that expression is pKa. So instead of acid uh, dissociation constant Ka, we use pKa to calculate the strength of uh, an, any acid. pKa of any acid can be calculated by using uh, the expression pKa is equals to negative log of Ka. And remember, this is the log uh, with the base 10 value, not the natural log. And the pKa values of acids vary from negative 9 to positive 50 value. Smaller pKa value means stronger acid. And Larger pK value means weak acid. In organic chemistry, uh, we will see in the uh, coming slides that any compound can behave as an acid or, an, or a base depending on uh, what other reactant it is reacting with. Uh, I will explain this concept in uh, in more detail, <clears throat> but just remember, if uh, uh, a substance has a high pK value, it will act as a weak acid. On the other hand, if that compound has a chance to accept a base, then it will act as a strong base. So in other words, if it's a weak acid, automatically it means that it will has a chance to act as a strong base. Value of some uh, organic uh, acid uh, are given here, or pK values of some organic acids are uh, given here. As you can see, that not all of them are traditional acids. For example, ethane is by no means it's an acid. Uh, so you can see that we still have the pK value. So its pK value is pretty large, it's around 50 or it's 51. I should say it's approximately 50. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, this large pK value means it's extremely weak acid. Uh, so if it's a weak acid, its conjugate base will be a strong base. Uh, remember uh, these important pKa concepts. Uh, larger the value of pKa, weaker will be the acid. And smaller the value of pKa, stronger will be the acid. Weaker the acid, the, uh, uh, the its conjugate base will be strong, 
and if the acid is strong its conjugate base will be weak so uh, what do I mean by that so for example uh, we know that ethene is a uh, compound with extremely high value of pKa so pK value of ethene is 51 which means it's extremely weak base of so therefore chances of uh, uh, ethene donating its proton to someone and after donation um, it will become Uh, this species so this is the conjugate base of uh, ethane so because pk value of ethane is extremely high therefore it is the weakest acid so let's call it it's a weak acid weak acid means it doesn't want to donate on the other hand if it does donate now this species will be highly unstable so this species will will um, shift the equilibrium almost 100% to the left hand side so in in other words this equilibrium would look something like this one so forward equilibrium will be negligible backward will be extremely high so it means the chances of chances of this conjugate base to accept the proton and go back is extremely high so that's why this will be a extremely strong base because it really wants to accept the proton and go back to being uh, uh, ethane so therefore we can say weak acid has a strong conjugate base so similarly if you write the equation for a strong acid you will see its conjugate base will be weak the pk values of an acid can determine whether in aqueous solution of that acid contains more molecules of undissociated acid or its ions a negative pka value uh, indicates that majority of uh, molecules of the acid are dissociated in water whereas a positive value indicates that most acid molecules remain undissociated for example uh, HCl has a pKa value of negative uh, 7 so this negative pK value means that in aqueous solution of HCl majority of the acid is present in dissociated form or in other words it donates its proton or majority of HCl molecules will dissociate to donate its proton to make hydronium ion and a chloride ion so therefore uh, the aqueous solution will contain more ions and less acid so the correct representation of this equilibrium is that it is forward equilibrium or in other words the rate of forward direction is much greater than the backward direction and that happens with all acids with negative uh, 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 pk value if the pk value is zero in that case the rate of forward direction and backward direction are equal so it's 50 50. let's uh, consider another acid uh, for example acetic acid so in case of acetic acid the pka value is positive uh, 4. now positive 4 value means that in aqueous solution of acetic acid the amount or concentration of uh, product ions is less than the reactant itself so the ions are less so therefore the correct representation of this equilibrium is that it is a backward uh, equilibrium so forward 
reaction rate is smaller than the backward so hence pka value is a good indication or good measure of uh, uh, the uh, concentration of uh, ions versus the acid in both of these examples uh, water is a base so water is the substance which is accepting the proton now what if if we have a another base other than water and uh, then how can we figure out the uh, equilibrium in uh, the reaction let's take an example of reaction between acetic acid and ammonia so in this case acetic acid is the proton donor and ammonia would be the proton acceptor so ammonia will be a base and acetic acid will be uh, the acid so after it donates the proton we will get acetate ion as a conjugate base of acid and ammonium ion as a conjugate acid so now it's a reversible reaction so therefore in forward direction acetic acid is donating the proton and in backward direction ammonia is donating the proton back to it to the acetate ion so in other words ammonium ion is the acid in the reversible reaction and acetic acid is acting as an acid in the forward direction now according to uh, the equilibrium rule so equilibrium favors the reaction of the stronger acid and stronger base to give weaker acid and weaker base and in other words equilibrium will be favored uh, from stronger acid to weaker acid so in other uh, so uh, pk value of uh, uh, the acid in forward direction so acid in forward direction is acetic acid is pk value is 4.76 and the acid in backward direction is ammonium ion and if we look at the uh, pk uh, table we'll find its pk value is 9.24 now from the pk values it is evident that acetic acid is stronger than ammonium ion hence the equilibrium will go from stronger to weaker in other words we will favor a forward direction equilibrium so that's how we can calculate the direction of equilibrium if water is not uh, the base another thing we should remember is that pka is a logarithmic scale so in uh, what it means is that pka4 if an acid has a pka value of 4 and another acid has a pka value of 5 so going from 5 to 4 it's a 10 uh, fold increase so the acid strength of uh, pka4 is 10 times greater than the acid strength of pka5 so similarly if we have pka6 so going from here to here is 10 and going from here to here is another 10 so it means going directly from 6 to 4 so it's 100 fold increase in the acid strength so in this reaction where we have equilibrium between acid and base not only we can calculate the direction in which equilibrium is favored for example in case of uh, ammonia and acetic acid favors forward we can also calculate the equilibrium constant using these pka values so in order to calculate the equilibrium constant first we need to calculate the pk equilibrium so which is equals to the pka of acid minus pka of conjugate acid so in this equation pka of acid is 4.76 minus conjugate acid is 9.24 and the result is negative 4.48 
so this is pk equilibrium to calculate the equilibrium constant and remember pka is equals to negative log of ka so applying this formula and uh, the value of pka goes here so we will calculate that ka comes out to be 3.0 times 10 to the 4 for this uh, not, uh, excuse me i need to correct so pk equilibrium is k equilibrium so k equilibrium is 3.0 times 10 to the 4 Similar example of acid-base equilibrium reaction between acetic acid and bicarbonate ion is shown here. In acid-base reactions, we can write the equilibrium as net ionic equation uh, because counter ions such as sodium uh, do not undergo any uh, chemical change. They are just spectator ions and they are present in both forward as well as backward uh, direction. So they don't, they don't uh, contribute anything to the equilibrium. So in this reaction, again, you can see the forward direction acetic acid uh, is acid and its pK value is 4.76. And in the reversible direction, carbonic acid is acting as an acid because it donates the proton. So and its pK value is 6.36. Again, uh, the pK value is smaller. Uh, for the forward direction acid so therefore equilibrium is favored towards forward direction so in other words equilibrium lies to the right another interesting phenomenon which takes place in this kind of reaction is that carbonic acid uh, as soon as it forms it dissociates into water plus carbon dioxide and this carbon dioxide escapes because uh, it, it's a gas so it bubbles and it, it escapes so therefore uh, the concentration of carbonic acid decreases because it continuously dis decomposes into water and carbonic acid and because of Le Chatelier's principle any force which reduces the pressure in the forward direction will shift the equilibrium further more to forward direction so therefore uh, that uh, principle or that phenomenon of decomposing carbonic acid to water and carbon dioxide will push this equilibrium even more uh, towards the right direction and eventually it turns out that this uh, reaction between acetic acid and bicarbonate ion uh, does not uh, stay uh, a reversible reaction in fact it becomes just a uh, forward direction reaction only